to set up the game, shuffle this deck of candy into a face down deck. Then deal two cards to each player to form their starting hand. You are the only one who can look at your cards. Take the bottom three cards without looking at them and shuffle in the times up card. Give it a little shuffle like I just mentioned and then place those cards on the bottom of the deck. Take a number of basket cards equal to the number of players plus two and then arrange them in a line in the center of the playing area. I will be setting up for a three player game so I will be placing five cards. Any leftovers can be put back in the box they will not be used. Also return any secret letter cards that are not being used in the game. The rest of the letter cards you can then shuffle and then place them into a face down stack close by. Then deal one out to each player. You can look at your own but make sure you do not show it to everybody. Whichever letter you get the basket that matches it is considered yours for the game. There are 15 special baskets that come with the game and each of these has a special ability that can happen at various times. At the end of the game, the start of the game, or during the game. If you want to play with these, simply shuffle this stack, select two at random, and then simply shuffle them into the rest of the cards. Take this new deck of shuffled baskets and lay them out in a line in the center of the playing area so that way all the baskets will come up in a random order. Any unused special baskets can be put back in the box, they will not be used. However, if you don't want to use the special baskets, then you can simply put them all in the box. Finally, determine the player who most recently ate candy and they will be the starting player with play then proceeding to go clockwise. Once you've done everything stated, you are ready to begin. On your turn, you must draw one card from the top of the deck. If you drew the Time's Up card, the game ends immediately, otherwise you may continue. Then you must play a card from your hand onto any of the baskets that are in the playing area. When you do this, make sure you place it below the basket so that the number of the candy is visible to everyone. Those are the two mandatory things you must do on your turn. There is one more thing that you can do, but you don't have to do it. At any time on your turn, even before you draw the card that you need, you can choose to tattle on someone. When you tattle on someone, point to them and you are to say, cheater. You will then point out which basket you think belongs to them. That player will then show you their secret letter without revealing it to anyone else and if your guess was correct, you can take that letter, place it in front of you. That will score you four points at the end of the game and the player you guessed is eliminated. However, if your guess was wrong, then that means you must reveal your letter to everyone, place it in front of the player you tried to guess, and then you are eliminated. Once you have drawn one, played one, and then optionally tattled on one, your turn is over and play passes clockwise. The game ends in one of two ways. Either there is only one player that has not been eliminated or when the times up card is revealed as the top card of the deck. If the times up card was revealed first, then you will immediately resolve any end game effects that are on special baskets. And then everyone who is still in the game will reveal their secret letter. You will then determine your final score. You will score one point for each candy on the cards that are in your basket. For example, I would get two points for this chocolate, three points for this chocolate, two points for this mint, one point for this lollipop. You also, like I said, get four points for each other player's secret letter that you got. Whoever has the most points is the winner. In the case of a tie, the tie players are eliminated and the player with the highest non-tied amount of candy wins. Some special baskets, like Monte Carlo, will allow you to swap baskets. For example, at the end of the game, Monte Carlo says, swap the two baskets adjacent to this basket with each other. So you will simply take the two baskets that are described and you will swap them with each other. When you swap a basket for any reason, the cards that were under it do not go with it. 
they've become part of the new basket that they're under. The cards at the end of the line are considered to be adjacent to each other for all purposes. Which means if you needed to swap a basket with one that's on the end, you can choose to swap it with the basket that is on the other end. It also means that if for any reason a basket is to be shifted past the end of the line, it will then go to the first position on the opposite end of the line. Some baskets, like Electric Slide, will call for odd or even numbers of cards in the basket. If at the end of the game there are no cards in those baskets, then those baskets have no effect. There are also two experienced rules that you might be interested in. The first is at the beginning of the game, the player who would take the first turn must give the player going last in turn order their highest valued candy card. While the player going last must give the player that's going first their lowest valued candy card. The other is that you can play it so where nobody is removed immediately when you title on someone. Instead, you just write your guess down somewhere along with your name. Then place your guess face down in front of the player you are guessing. At the end of the game, all the guesses will be revealed. If every other player guessed your secret letter, you are eliminated. Otherwise, you will score three points for each correct guess. You cannot tattle on a person more than once. And that's everything you need to know in order to play Tricks and Treats. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to know my thoughts on Tricks and Treats, or if you just want more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, reviews, and unboxings. Thank you all as always so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.